So I'm gonna log in as my teacher. And this is the teacher side of the program here. So now, as the teacher, this is great. Student 30 just did numbers, operations, and properties, and now it's saying, hey, this item is here for you to grade. So if I click on this, it's going to jump me right to that item. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Um, this is an overview summary of my course and my responsiveness um, on my grading. Student performance. If any critical students show up, the students are doing very poorly overall. They'll show up over here. And then here's the course, same way, view, gradebook, objectives. So these are the kind of hot buttons for your teacher. I, go, I can go through the course just like a student, or I can jump right to my gradebook, or I can see how we're doing overall on objectives, and, um, and so forth. So I have one student in my class. And I can get to my gradebook again here or with the gradebook button, it goes to the same place. So I'm, I'm going to show you what both of them look. If I click on my assignment, the assignment's going to open up right in this window for me, which is really nice. And I can go through and grade. So here's what my student responded. This is the correct answer, so I was way off. So I have to type in that I got a zero out of one on that. Okay, I can also add feedback to the student if I wanted to focus on this or make sure that you pay attention to this and so forth. I'm going to, um, for this matter, I'm going to give myself credit on AN1 just so you can see how the um, how the lessons change. So if you'll see AN6 I got correct, AN1 I got this one correct. I'm going to make sure that I get all of AN1 correct as well as AN6 just so you can see how that changes. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit Score. If this is grayed out, then you missed one of the boxes to make sure that there was a score um, typed in there. So make sure that you uh, look at that, and I can just click Submit Score. And now I get the grade for that student on that assignment. Okay, so that's the quick hot button. This item is here for you to grade. I can also get to the gradebook the same way here if I click Gradebook. And I have, I'll have all of my students listed in my class, their overall score now that I've submitted a grade. This is awesome. You'll see that I'm looking at the all assignments here, but if I click on Numbers, Operations, and Properties, I can see that um, my student got a 58 here and that they've been excused from these two lessons because they did them very well. Okay, so that's a really nice feature. If I needed to grade this, there would be a piece of paper here, and I would click on it, and it opens up the exact same window that you just looked at here to grade the student's responses. Okay, and at the bottom, this is my favorite part of the program, it breaks down how well the student has performed on these learning objectives. And these, are again, are tied right to the performance indicators. Any questions that you miss, if you have any red, you'll be assigned those assignments. Okay, if, you, if they're all green, you'll be excused from those assignments, and we saw that with our student excused there. If I click on my student, I get a little bit of a different breakdown. I see the same view that I saw before, um, and I can also grade this way. But I also get some fun features up here that I just want to kind of show off to you guys. And I'm really going to focus on um, two of these features, the first being the learning objective mastery on this particular student and you'll see how well they're doing and it'll accumulate as they move through the course if there's more questions um, with that 20-day review at the end on those particular standards. And I also have this great feature, this activity, which is going to be very instrumental for you in monitoring your students in this program. I can see how long my students spent on this assessment. I can also see how long they spend on each thing, how that they access in the course. So once the student starts to access the lessons, you know, those lessons have um, notes in them, and I'll show you this, and they have a video, and then they have additional practice problems. So if your student's finishing that in a minute, two minutes, then that's a point for you to come back and say, okay, you were assigned this, and you went through the lesson, that should take a student somewhere at least five minutes to complete those lessons. So that's a great way for you to kind of guide and make sure that your students are really trying to get everything out of the program that they can get out of it.
Um, to get back to my gradebook, I just click here, and it's going to take me back to the student grade, and here it's going to take me back to my gradebook all the way out. So um, it's important for you to note that along the top you can jump to specific units, but if you're not seeing all of the assignments, that's here at the beginning, all assignments. So if you wanted to see everything at once, you have to make sure that you choose all assignments. Okay. I think that's pretty much it from the teacher side. And if I wanted to go back to the coursework here, I could click View. Take me back to the coursework. This flows just like a student. So you can come in here and take the tests, to, you know, take the quizzes, go through the lessons. You can do everything that the student does from your teacher side. Okay. The last piece I want to talk to you about is this communicate button, and I kind of touched on it a little bit, um, but this announcements feature, the send mail is not set up yet because we're not linking um, all of the student emails with the students. As we start to kind of roll this out more, we'll be making sure that we load our students with our student emails. So, um, but what you can do is focus on the announcements, and this takes you to the announcements window, and you can choose new announcement. You can choose who it goes to here, everybody in the class, or if you just start typing in a student, you type in your subject, you say, hey, our Regents exam is on this day, or hey, you know, this weekend, try to focus on going through two tests, um, and so forth. You can choose a start and an end date for when that announcement stays up, and then you just click post, and that'll show up right on the student dashboard. So um, I'm just going to... So just so that you see it, we're here for the students when they come in. So I'm going to click post, and then that's going to show up on my student dashboard when I go back in. So that's the teacher view. That's as much as it is for you. It's as, it's as much as you want to make out of the program or as little. The You do have to go in and at least submit those grades for the kids so that they do get that prescribed learning path in the region's prep. To change your password, as a teacher, you would come in here on the right hand side from your dashboard where it says your your name here, I'm just in as my sample teacher. If you click on this drop down next to your teacher, you have the option for personal information. And this is where you can update your profile. Um, add, email should be in there, but you can update these things. You can add a picture, add security questions, but you can also change your password right here so your password is a default password and we recommend that you change that to something else other than your default password and then just click save changes. Mm -hmm.